Everybody knows that my daughter is a pit bull, that I love rescuing animals. We created animal food to help fund the rescue of animals. Uh, $16 million uh, um, we've, we've been able to provide so far to, to rescue cats and dogs and all kinds of creatures. But I think that the most profound experience of rescue that I've ever even heard of, um, I was lucky enough to become a part of. The last 300 or so um, chimps that are used for human research, chimps have finally been upgraded and we're not gonna do that anymore. So these creatures, you know, I, I happen to think that we are related very closely and that um, their experience has been um, as emotional as it would be for a human kept in a cage and used for um, uh, testing. So to see these, um, I think of them as men and women, but to see these chimps um, hug each other for the first time, touch grass for the first time, see the sky for the first time, it's just the most profound type of rescue that you could imagine. I got involved in a very special um, project. It's called Project Chimps. My friends Billy and Adrian Armstrong brought me to it. It has enriched my life. Um, I helped build their sanctuary. I designed their kitchen for them. <laughs> Humans prepare their food, by the by. Um, <laughs> But uh, it's, it's just a beautiful story, and I wanted to share with you their new home. And hopefully you'll want to help, because we're going to need to support them for the rest of their natural lives. Um, here's Project Chimp. Project Chimps is a new sanctuary for chimpanzees. We will welcome up to 300 chimps here on our 236-acre property. Chimpanzees are very much like us. They experience the world the same way we do, with individual personalities, loves, hates, desires, um, just like us. This project is funded by a lot of really caring, wonderful people who have been willing to give very generously, including Rachel and Billy Joe and Adrian Armstrong and Kat Von D, and also just regular people who are supporting us. We just had such an emotional response to seeing these chimpanzees just getting released for the first time and they've been in captivity their whole lives. In all honesty, what I'm the most excited about uh, when it comes to this project is raising awareness. I'm down to do whatever it takes to, to make this place beautiful and running. This facility used to be a sanctuary for gorillas, and the kitchen was in terrible shape. Basically just kind of a dank, dark room, so thankfully Rachel came in and fixed it up, and it's amazing now. It's really been designed to reflect the area here in Georgia, and to reflect the needs for these um, amazing, amazing creatures that are going to call this home. What Rachel did is she made this kitchen work like a real hospitality kitchen. So we redid the walk-in, and all of this is coated so it can't grow bacteria. This is going to be all pots and pans. That's going to be dry goods storage for their grains. The kitchen's amazing. It just... I'm oh. still kind of stunned from yeah. looking at the kitchen. I think that the way I make my living is through food, so the way I should give back to the world is through food, whether it's humans or dogs or cats or chimps. Right now, what they're used to is monkey chow, which is sort of like dog food. So here it will be a whole new world with smoothies and cooked food and lots of fresh produce. He's going to go and make some yeah. fruit smoothies Look, for the chimps. Just the cook. This is the beginning of the rest of their lives, and this is the first time they've had the opportunity to actually be chimpanzees, and we couldn't be more excited. 